Now that we've taken a look at how you rush and how you pass and how the offense gains yardage, let's take a look now at what the defense is trying to do because the defense is trying to stop the offense obviously from gaining um, yards and scoring those points because they want their team's offense uh, to get out there on the field and to be able to to score points of their own. So how is the defense going to try to stop them? And one of the, the biggest ways that they can do that is to force the ball or to force the offense to turn the ball over and to to cause something that is called a turnover. So to turn the ball over means that at some point during the play um, the offense will lose the ball to the defense and there's two ways um, that this can happen. Two ways that the offense can turn the ball over. First way is called an interception and then the second way um, is called a fumble to fumble the ball so these are the two ways interceptions and fumbles are the two ways that the offensive team can turn over the ball to the defensive team uh, let's look at a, the fumble first because really the, the simplest way that they can do it um, it will generally occur in, in, I mean it could technically it can occur no matter who has the ball um, but a lot of the times you'll see it will happen either to the quarterback or to the, to the running back. Um, and basically what this means, to fumble the ball, just means that they drop the ball. Um, and then so the ball gets loose. Um, guys will try to, for both teams then, will try to jump on top of it um, and, and control it um, for their side and for their team. Um, but if in the event... Uh, say a running back drops the ball, they fumble the ball, and a, a defensive player jumps on top of that ball, um, they would have um, recovered that fumble. And so the offensive teams then turn the ball over to the defensive team. Uh, the defensive team would then get that ball um, right there on that spot, and then their offense um, could come out and, and try to, to score. So that's a fumble, just simply dropping the ball. If in the event uh, the offense of team is able to jump back on the ball, then they would just get the ball there and they would uh, continue from that point. Um, the, the second way that you can turn a ball over is called an interception. And this is if in during a play, so let's say we're going to have a, a, a passing play, so our our uh, wide receivers, they'll run out for the routes, whatever the routes are. Maybe this guy runs out and then goes across. Um, a lot of times you'll see the, cor the cornerback, not the quarter, the cornerback on defense, he will be um, covering a wide receiver. Um, so basically, the, the, this cornerback, no matter where this wide receiver goes, he is told to follow them. That's got a man-to-man a -man coverage. Um, and there's different ways that the defense will, will have different coverages that they will have, uh, but we'll take a look at that uh, down the road sometime. So let's say for this play we have man-to-man -man coverage. Um, this this cornerback is covering this wide receiver. This cornerback over here is covering this wide receiver. So no matter where they run, uh, these the the job of the cornerback is to to basically stop the pass from being completed. If a quarterback throws the ball to his wide receiver and he catches it, that is called a completed pass. Um, so the cornerback, the defense's job, is to, to try to prevent those completed passes. So let's say we have these routes. Um, our wide receiver runs out and then across, and then the, the, the cornerback, he'll follow him maybe, and he'll probably try to get in between. Because remember, this quarter, quarterback will be dropping back to throw the ball. So the, the cornerback will probably try to get in between the quarterback and the wide receiver. And if he can do that, whenever the quarterback throws the ball, that cornerback will then have a chance to catch the ball instead of the wide receiver. So he'll kind of try to jump in front of him. Uh, he's not allowed to really push him out of the way. Um, that would be a penalty, which we'll look at all the things, the ways you can legally 
uh, defend the guy um, here soon. But but the, the probably the simplest way would be just to jump in front of the ball um, and to to catch it uh, for the defender. Um, and then of course maybe the ball slips out of the quarterback's hands. Um, as long as that ball doesn't hit the ground, um, then the defense has the chance to, to intercept the ball. The other thing, um, it wouldn't, so that would be an interception. That would be then a turnover. That cornerback, if he catches that ball, he can uh, try to run, run and pick up yards of his own. Or if he's then wherever he is tackled, that's where his team uh, would take over on offense. The other thing he can do that wouldn't be an interception but would help the defense is if he just knocks the ball down or if anything other than the, the wide receiver catching the ball basically so if he if the ball if is dropped um, or if that cornerback cor is able to knock the ball down so that it touches the ground as soon as the ball touches the ground um, then that pass is, is what we call an incomplete pass so it's an incomplete pass. That means that the uh, the pass would have hit the ground or, or gone out of bounds or something like that. So so basically, they um, the offense gains no yardage, and then instead of being maybe first and ten, then it would be uh, second and ten. Uh, so they don't gain any yards. They don't lose any yards. And they just lose kind of that that down. Uh, so. And then the other thing, of course, that could happen is if a wide receiver um, does catch a pass, uh, the pass is completed, he does catch it, and maybe he turns and he's trying to, to, to run up the field to gain more yardage. As he is running, if the ball is knocked out or he drops it for whatever reason, then it would be a fumble. And so then the defense um, would have a chance uh, to try to jump on that and recover the fumble uh, for their team, as we said, so they could be then offense. So that's what that's how turnovers work. Interceptions uh, when the defense catches a pass uh, thrown by the quarterback, or a fumble when the offense drops the ball, um, and then the, the the defense would recover, take the ball over uh, for themselves.